Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Data Toolkit. In today's uh, we will discuss the Informatica interview questions and answers part 8. So this is the essential interview questions. So let's discuss the first question is what is SD type 2 and explain it. What is the cache are you using? So answer is SD type 2 is data warehousing method that track historical changes by adding new record for each change. Each time a new record is added, a new surrogate key also created. We are using the dynamic lookup cache to manage the changes in dimension data. This cache allow the system to detect the new and updated record during the data processing. Next question, what is the static and dynamic cache? So static cache, it is by default cache that the data in the lookup cache doesn't change at the uh, mapping tax run, but the dynamic, change, uh, dynamic cache the cache get updated based on the changes in the task. Next question, suppose we have a source data coming from two databases and one flat file. I want to load the data into table. How can you achieve that in IACS? So we can achieve this scenario. For that, we have to create the three source transformation. One for two for the database, one for the flat file and we can merge data by using the union transformation if their structure are similar or if their structure are different then we can use the joiner and expression transformation. Next is why we use master outer join for a smaller number of rows. Because this approach reduce the number of uh, reduce the amount of data cache in the memory. Next how does transaction control transformation work? The TCT transformation allow you to manage the data commit and rollback during a mapping run. So this useful when processing large amount of data by defining specific condition you can control when to commit or roll back the set of rows. Next question why we truncate the stage and load the data into stage. So we truncate the staging table before loading data to ensure that it is empty and ready to accept the fresh data because this is helped to avoid the issue with the outdated or the incorrect data. Staging table contain only the most current data for the further processing and truncating the table also improve the performance by removing unnecessary data before the load. So you can remember guys here, uh, it is removing the unnecessary data before the load and it always take the fresh data means new data. That's why we are enabling the uh, truncate and load option. Next question, how do you load unique records into one target table and duplicate record into different target table? So answer, you can um, see the, you can take the first flow of the mapping that is the, we need this source transformation, then one aggregator transformation, router transformation and target. So in aggregator transformation, we can group by the key column and add new code. For example, we can call it count record to count the key column. Next in the router transformation we will create the two groups that is the original and duplicate. So in the original we can write the count record is equal to 1 and duplicate we can write the count record is greater than 1. So this logic you can take in the interview. Next question what is CTC and what is the purpose of it and where do you use it? So CT is nothing but it is the common table expression is a temporary result set defined with the with clause in SQL used to simplify the complex query used with the execution scope of select, insert, update or delete statement that are defined using with clause and can be referenced multiple times within the main SQL query. The CT exit only during the executions of the query. Once the query complete, the CT is discarded. Next question. Before processing a flat file through Informatica, do you take care of anything specifically? So you can answer yes. We are taking care like I have used the shell script or the Python script for data validation or cleansing tasks. This script handle tasks such as removing unwanted characters, formatting data correctly and checking for missing or invalid values before the file are proceeded in the Informatica. Next question, write the SQL query for the department wise how many employees are working. 
so this is the query we can simply uh, write down the select command and department id count of star as employee count from employee that is the table name and group by department id next question remove the duplicate records without using group by and having clause so this is the answer guys delete this is the name of the table employee so we are using e1 and e2 alias so condition will be like or the query will be like delete e1 from employee e1 e2 employee e2 where e1 dot employee name is equal to e2 dot employee name if it is match and e1 dot employee id is greater than e2 dot employee id then it will be remove the duplicate records here is the one change comma is there next question is how to remove duplicates record in ICS so the flow of ICS is we will take the source then sorter sorter transformation then aggregated transformation and target so in sorter we will sort the key column suppose for example there is employee id then we will do the ascending and in aggregator we will do the group by column on the employee id next question how many ways we can perform unique records so there are many methods we can uh, achieve the unique records so in the aggregator we can achieve in aggregator group by all ports then the output is only unique record connected to the target second method we can do it by using the sorter also in sorter if we enable the select distinct option then method 3 if your source is database then you can select the distinct record in the source qualifier or the source transformation then in method 4 by using the dynamic lookup cache also we can eliminate the duplicate records and in method 5 by using the expression transformation with the help of variable port we will achieve this scenario so if you want to learn more about the how we can eliminate the duplicate record by using dynamic lookup cache you can watch my video so you can see my recent i have uploaded recently delete duplicate record using dynamic lookup cache so you can see this next question in workflow you define a source and target in session if you need to specify a connection for a source and target where do you configure it so answer is the connection for the source and target is configured in the session property under mapping star tab here you can assign the appropriate connection details for both the source and target so this is all about the Accenture interview question guys so I will collect uh, all the different companies interview questions and I, I will upload more videos if you feel this video is informative, please like, comment and share my video. Thank you for watching. Keep growing and learning.